Hello everyone, this is Salesforce Lori um, and I'm here today to demonstrate to you how um, a validation works with a pick list field and a date field needing to be um, to have some criteria. Um, so let's demonstrate it by creating a new user. Um, this is by the way a, a project that we're doing in Talent Stacker so we can have a, a very good experience with building solutions for an org so for this the requirement is that if you have a member whose risk status is at risk instead of no risk you're required to put in a date so let's say it's a no risk at this time it's a new member and then suddenly um, some of the other members noted that hey Ryan is missing in action for like a month now. Not not a peep, nothing on Facebook, nothing on LinkedIn. He is not engaging in the community at all. So what could have happened? So the month the members will alert one of the admins of Talent Stackers and Ryan's record will be updated to at risk. So the date is required as to when the admin got that um, that information from others or whether they themselves have noticed that. So it will have to be required. The date will have to be required if the status is at risk. And on the back end of it, this is how it looks like. Um, so I named it the field, as you know, date member is deemed at risk. So that is the name of that field, validation rule. Um, we are going to get rid of that so, so I can demonstrate. So you need two fields, contact risk status, right? And another field that is the date member is deemed at risk so if the risk status is at risk but you forgot to put a value in the date number so that um, in between these two characters quotation marks there is nothing that's blank so the field is blank if you check the syntax it will give you an error so um i watched a video by bradley rice and that was when he was still using classic <laughs> but it's the same principle so what he did um i actually was trying this before with a pick list um function here like this one but I just couldn't make it work. Um, it would give me something like the the out the the expected um, entry for the date for this field here was supposed to be a date, and it's conflicting with the pick list value. I'm not sure exactly what the logic was in that. But um, oops, sorry, I was trying to put that down there. Um, so Bradley's Bradley's solution was actually to use the text value. So let, we will use two of them. And so for for this part here, we will use one of the fields. So there are two text texts here to to act as um, be used for each field so we will replace this value here with this field here and then put that at risk if here oh, let me change that to a small letter so and this we will move 
in between the two and this value we will change to this field cut and paste and cut and paste that sounds like the instructor so with this formula there are no errors found so if the risk is at risk and the date is blank, then you should not be able to save that because you need, this is this will be the error message if you try to save it without a value on the date member is deemed at risk. The date is required if member is at risk. And then you, you would have, it. this one defaults to the top of the page, but you will have to change that to the field so that your red Border will actually be on the field around the date members is deemed at risk. Um, of course, when you click on that first, it defaults to something else, so you have to choose that date member is deemed at risk. And then you save that. So let's demonstrate that again, just so we know that what I demonstrated to you actually works. <laughs> so let us see. Missing Mary. Uh, no risk at first. And then somebody said, hey, Mary is missing. I haven't seen her in like a couple months now. That is so unlike of her because she's always, she's used to, she used to be so active in webinars and whatnot. Now I'm not seeing her. Okay, so. Let's try to change that risk status to at risk and try to save that. And of course, we are having this warning that we have to enter a date. And now that we have a date, it allows us to save. That's it. I hope it helps you. Uh, of course, the original credit goes to Bradley. Thank you for teaching me how to do that. Um, his video was actually for two pick list fields which you would think is more complicated, but it's now a bit simpler to understand as far as I'm concerned. I hope you have something gained from this video and good luck on your own projects. Thank you for taking the time to watch.